we all know that stress is one of the most basic things that makes us human beings, right? Sometimes it helps to motivate us to get things done around us. The bad aspect is that when you feel stressed or anxious for several weeks at a time, for a long period of time, I mean, or when the stress that you feel begin to interfere with your daily life routine or your work life or your family life, then that is where our reason for today's video steps in. Hello everyone, my name is Osina Chionoha and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of seeing me, then trust me to bring you videos on basic life tips and hacks and so much more. Today, I'll be bringing you tips on stress management. Yes, stress management. As I said earlier, stress can either be good or it can be bad. They are good in an aspect that um, they help us to motivate us to get things done. You have this rush to fix things, to put things in order and so much more. There are two stages a person can suffer stress. It can either be in the form of an acute stress or a chronic stress. An acute stress usually lasts for a short period of time. You know that time when you have butterflies in your tummy, when you needed to hand in a project or when you have to speak to a congregation of people. That rush you feel inside your body, that's the kind of stress that we refer to as acute stress. It's actually a good one, so it doesn't last. Hmm. The other type of stress, and I call it the bad one maybe, is the chronic stress. The chronic stress steps in if you let the normal stress that you feel linger on for a long period of time. And it can have a damaging effect on your physical, your mental and your emotional health. When you are dealing with chronic stress, physically you tend to feel some kind of a muscle pain, difficulty in sleeping, headache, a change in your sex drive, a negative change maybe, and eventually high blood pressure. Emotionally, you tend to see yourself getting too weak or being restless and at the end of the day, you end up getting depressed. So moving on, I'll be here to tell you the things that you can do to be on top of your stress level to make sure that they don't affect you negatively. Wow. The first tip is stop the self-criticism, stop being self-critical, you know, stop beating yourself up, replace those negative thoughts with positive ones. You should always be there. Don't ever tell yourself, no, I can't do this. You should always be there to encourage yourself. Instead, you say, yes, I think I can, or I think I should try to do this all the time. And you will see yourself lifting yourself up at the same time. Another way is for you to eat and sleep well. A balanced diet, apart from making you healthy, can help you to maintain a good stress level. Dark chocolate. Foods that are high in vitamin C, like oranges, grapes, may also be helpful to lower your stress levels. On the other hand, you may need to cut down on your intake of caffeine during the day, or maybe you may need to cut down on the time that you put your eyes on your screen. Yes, because these things tend to affect your stress level and you may not know about it. The third tip is cut down on your smoking and alcohol intake. Please. This is very, very necessary. You can also help yourself by um, creating a kind of community of close friends and family that will always be available for you to run to when this stress starts to build up because trust me, they are unavoidable. We cannot help them. Another good tip is that I encourage you to squeeze out time for your alone time, if that makes sense. Squeeze out time for just you and yourself. During this time, you could um, read books, you could meditate, you could exercise, you could do other self-care routines that can help you to shake off the stress, you know. And another good tip is for you to invest in stress balls. You may wonder what are stress balls. Stress balls are um, therapeutic malleable balls that you can hold in your hands and you can squeeze them in your hands. They can help you relieve stress while you squeeze them. These balls work. I can attest to it. You know, they tend to help you to calm down your nervous system and they also help in processing. But you know, these things must work hand in hand with our intents. I know you're wondering how does this work exactly. I'll tell you. This is a stress ball and it works this way. Repetition of squeezing and releasing these balls just as you can see me do 
with intention, you know, tends to um, create an overall effect of stress reduction and um, tension reduction. So moving on, I'm going to show you how you can create your own stress balls very easily in one minute so that you can use it to cure your stress headaches. Keep watching. Thank you for coming along. So for this stress ball, we are going to be needing a pair of scissors, colored pens, corn flour, and some balloons. So the first thing I want to do is to pick up my scissors, get one of the balloons, desired color I would like, then I cut out the pin at the mouth of the balloon and then I force in a small funnel into the balloon and then I scoop some corn flour and pour it into the funnel so that it gets into the balloon. So I do this for the time being and then I make sure that there are no spaces inside the balloon. That's why I'm hitting on the funnel. So I tend to do this until the balloon is filled up and then I secure the mouth of the balloon by just tying a knot around it as you can see in the video and then I also get another balloon cut out the, the tip of it and then I also cut an, an the other part of it on the neck so that it would fit into this balloon in a circular um, manner if you understand what I mean and then I continue to do this this is an orange balloon I'm adding at the moment and then I put it um, I put in a pink balloon on it then I round it up with a baby pink balloon as the outer layer so then you want to pick up your colored pens and make any inscription of your choice. I like to make a smiley inscription as you can see so that at the end of the day, no matter what I'll be going through at that time, I just read on it and then I, it gives me some kind of high hopes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Share with me if you have other ways that you've implemented or tried out to work on your stress levels. Let me know in the comment section. Did you find the tips I dropped helpful? Let me know too in the comment section. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I do, don't forget to like this video, comment and share. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Stick with me for more life changing tips and until I see you again hopefully, bye.